Janet Alexander. I'm the director of the nursing program at Columbus State University. And today we have done a practice drill on emergency management of a disaster that involved an airborne toxin. The School of Nursing worked collaboratively with our Department of Counseling here in the College of Education and Health Sciences. We also worked collaboratively with the community, with the Department of Public Health, the emergency medical system of the greater Muscogee County. We worked with the local police, the local fire department, and the CSU police department. And we had a great example of how people in all avenues of the provider of health care when there is an emergency work together collaboratively to be sure that they're not injured and more people are not hurt because of some type of airborne injury. The event was held at Frank Brown Hall on the CSU River Park campus. In addition, one of the important collaborations was working closely with representatives from South American countries who were interested in training in how to handle a disaster in their own country. So they worked closely with Fort Benning personnel to make sure that they received adequate training. We had interpreters here, so they were able to observe certain things and participate in certain parts of the training, which was very effectively done. We hope to keep this as an annual event, as a part of the training for our students, so that they can learn that they are not working through a disaster alone, just as a nurse, that they have a lot of other departments and people to depend on to do their part so that everyone is handled in a safe and effective manner. Hello, I'm Donna Ferguson and I'm, I'm an assistant professor of nursing here at Columbus State University. My job for these disaster drills that we've had last year and this year has really been to kind of rally all of the nursing troops and plan all of the nursing care and nursing activities that need to happen in a mass casualty event. We have nurses who are assigned to each of those treatment areas. They're assigned with a faculty mentor. We try to have different levels of student involvement. So the juniors in their first year of nursing, we have seniors in their last year of nursing. We have the master students, we have RN to BSN students. So we get a really good mix of different levels of expertise and really try to put an emphasis on the experienced nurses mentoring the less experienced nurses and typically it proves to be an, an excellent learning experience all around. Today we had a 26 year old mother and her six month old child. We had a 70 year old gentleman who was um, who witnessed what went on and then had not a, a very healthy reaction to it. So there was a job there for the nurses to assess him and see is he having some sort of a medical problem? And if not, is there a psychological need to rely on our counseling counterparts to, to really help us with that kind of intensive intervention? We had in this drill three people who were actually deceased. Um, one, of, one of them immediately at the scene, one at the scene a few seconds later, and a third person who was running over to help out and didn't realize he was getting into uh, a noxious cloud of, of vapor and he was dead within, within a, a couple of minutes. So we try to give as many different kinds of experiences. My name is Lauren Hearn and I am a counseling student here at Columbus State University offering psychological first aid for this year's disaster drill. We really enjoyed being able to collaborate effectively with all of those different agencies. In this year's disaster drill, we were dealing with airborne toxins. There was a chemical release and the nurses got to experience a decontamination process and how to uh, work with chemical burns and chemical injuries. Uh, once they were processed and their physical assessments were met, then we were able to offer the psychological first aid and make sure that they were comfortable and that the survivors had all of uh, what they needed and were in a safe place. Um, some examples of what we saw come through our counseling uh, area was uh, 
some survivors that had some confusion. They were suffering from not understanding what happened to them, where they were, what was going on. We assisted with uh, partners as well. We had mothers and daughters. We had some that experienced psychological trauma and they were mentally um, unstable, experiencing a lot of emotional reactions. There was some tears, there was yelling. Uh, and it was our job to just make sure we could do our best to get them calmed down and get them uh, secured. And once they did have their medical needs met, then we wanted to really make sure we could meet them where they were. In that experience, I uh, really got to teach myself how to be a calm presence um, in that kind of adverse uh, interaction. Uh, this year, I felt a lot more confident uh, in my approach working with the survivors. I also felt more uh, grounded and established in my professional identity. Um, and I was able to bring that into this experience. And I felt uh, a lot more capable than I did the first year. And uh, doing experiences like this will also just help me grow as a professional in the future and take what I learned today into the field. That was it. Can I get some help? Ma'am, you need to go back to isolation. But I need some help. Do you think Pam and I should go back to isolation? Thank you. Like what? <laughs> yeah, we're blogging the way here, I think. The, oh, we should get that. That's more. Oh, yeah. Here.